An excellent interception by the alert Mortimer sent Tony Morley away down on the left wing. His perfect cross was met by Peter With, and Aston Villa were a goal up. The Russians' best attack in the first half ended with this man, Rodinov, number seven, creating space, rounding two defenders, only to find Nigel Spink in top form. The second half started in spectacular style, Moscow Spartak levelling here with Cherenkov, giving Spink no chance. As Villa came back more into the game, a good ball here from Peter Wirth found Ormsby up in support, but his shot really wasn't hard enough, but Dasayev took two attempts to hold it. Two minutes later, and it was Mark Walters who found a gap in the Soviet defence, and his effort wasn't far off the mark either. Peter Wirth following up, but he wasn't quite in the right position. Anxious faces, not surprisingly, on the Villa bench. Here came a corner, Bugnov's header, Nigel Spink saved well, even Bugnov applauded. And then midway through the second half, the Russians really should have taken the lead. The players who combine here in an excellent one-two are Soknov and Cherenkov. And as the ball comes across, Gladilin it is, who has a simple chance, but completely missed it, and Jones was thankful to clear. And then with just 20 seconds to go, a quickly taken free kick, Kuznetsov knocks the ball in, Mortimer sticks a leg out, but in so doing, merely deflects it past Spink, who I'm pretty sure had the ball covered in the Villa goal. So despair for Aston Villa, ecstasy for the Russians, but on the night, no complaint. The Russians were the better team, and as Tony Barton said...